Hello and welcome to Highlights of Stage 7 of the Tour de France fam. Avec Swift, the big day in the mountains. 89.8 kilometres today. We're expecting the showdown between Annemiek van Vluten and Damie Vollering the GC. Lotte Capecchi starting the day with a 53 second advantage over Ashley Mormon Passio. What a day the riders had ahead of them. 2,537 metres of elevation in 89.8 kilometres, taking in the iconic climbs of the Col d'Aspan and finishing atop the mighty Col de Tourmalet. Let's have a look at the Col de Tourmalet. What a climb, 17.1 kilometers in length. It averages 7.5%. It maxes out at 18%. It's just inside 8K to go with it. Really starts to get steep and it climbs all the way up to 2,110 meters of elevation the most used climb in the tour de france over 80 times it has been used marion roos race director waved the flag at kilometer zero suzanne anderson of uno x keen to get into the breakaway we had had a flurry of attacks earlier on in the day she went clear with margot pompanon it was five for georgie of dsm leading in to the cold ass band for teammate juliette labus they handed over to Movistar, who one by one did a big turn to try and set things up for Annabeek van Vluten. We were wondering, would she go on the cold S ban and look to go long? And that is what she did. Unfortunately for Yara Castelline, already a stage winner, leader in the Queen of the Mountains. She was losing time. She had started today in sixth overall. 4.9k to go to the summit. Van Vluten made her move, but both Damie Vollering and Cassia Nuvia Doma were able to stay with her. A select group behind would form, but it did contain the yellow jersey, the Mayo Jun of Lotta Capecchi. Cresting the summit, Cassia Nuvia Doma took maximum points towards the Queen of the Mountains, and at this point they had a gap of around 50 seconds to the chasers behind. Nuvia Doma, though, known as one of the fastest descenders in the pro peloton, opened a gap over Damie Vollering and Annemiek van Vluten, who refused to work with each other. There was big conversations, there was even brakes being put on in the chase behind neither rider wanting to work with the other. Would this be the moment for Cassia Nivia Doma to ride clear to the stage win? She would start the Col de Tourmalet with an advantage over the chasing group, but SD Works had Marlon Royce and Lotta Capecchi in that chasing group behind. Royce did a huge turn to bring the gap back. They didn't catch Nivia Doma, who persisted with her efforts, sitting at over 250 watts on the climb. The attack from Vollering came with five and a half kilometers to go. Initially, Van Vluten and Mormon Passio able to stay with her, but arguably the rider of the season so far. Second on general classification a year ago, she won the Queen of the Mountains. The work to go to the top of the leaderboard and take the yellow jersey started then. She caught and passed Cassia Nivia Doma just inside 5k to go. She was building a gap over Annemiek van Vluten behind. The crowds out in force. Vollering was riding towards the yellow jersey. Teammate Lotte Capecchi at this point here through the Flam Rouge was at 2 minutes and 26 seconds. SD Works 51st victory of the season for Damie Vollering. That is her 14th win of the season. Cresting the top of the iconic Col de Tourmalet takes her first career Tour de France fam. Avex Swift stage win and with it she will pull on the yellow jersey with one day to go. High fives all round and deservedly so. Damie Vollering takes the stage with Cassia Nuvia Doma crossing the line in second. And with that, that would give her the victory in the Queen of the Mountains. Annemiek van Vluten crosses the line in third, just ahead of Ashley Mormon Passio, but losing two and a half minutes to Damie Vollering. Juliette Labus of France crossing the line in fifth spot. Lotta Capecchi comes home in sixth. Anne Santesteman, Marta Cavalli, Cecily Utrecht Ludwig, and Ricarda Baumfein takes 10. They say the yellow jersey gives you wings. An outstanding defense of the yellow jersey today for Lotta Capecchi. She passes 
the iconic Maya Jean to her teammate, Damie Vollering. Your general classification looks like this with one day to go. Damie Vollering takes it one minute and 50 second advantage over Cassia Nubia Doma Van Vluten at 2.28. Just 22.6 kilometers now between Damie Vollering and a victory in this year's edition of the Tour de France Fam Avec Zwift. A great time trialist is the Dutch rider. We go to Poe. We have finished and had editions of La Course when Mariana Vos took the victory. It's an individual time trial to finish things off. You've got that climb right in the middle. It shouldn't pose too much of a problem for Damie Vollering. A lot of work done in the time trial, but who will take the stage win? What a race, what a day fitting to finish on the top of the iconic and mighty Col de Tourmalet. Join us for more action tomorrow.